If you guys haven't seen the video we made yesterday exposing Joey Sal's fake social experiment, please click the link in the description or right here on the screen. We're going to be interviewing him right now about that fake social experiment. Thank you guys. Appreciate you. We have today the fucking salad man himself. He's had a tough week. His salad's been tossed by pretty much anyway, not just me. I've enjoyed tossing this man's salad for years. But now I feel like maybe his last solid salad has been tossed. Joey, what's going on, dude? What's going on here? How much fucking salad tossing can you endure? I, my salad's been fully tossed. So it came out that you faked a very racist social experiment three in a row. It started with the uh, salad lives, the Black Lives Matter, the baiting trunk prank, and then finally the, the Trump car one. So my first question to you is, is frankly this, Joey. Do you hate black people? No. <laughs> what kind of question is that? You well, think I'm gonna say yes? I well, do I don't know people? because, <laughs> I, I mean, it sounds like a joke. It sounds funny, but frankly, how, how else is it? Like, how else are people supposed to, what else are people supposed to take from you creating constantly these perceptions that black people are violent? You're totally right. <clears throat> Um, when it came to the, I mean, obviously, the Black Lives Matter versus All Lives Matter one, and that one was not, like, I don't want these videos to to make anybody look at the entire race in that type of way, well, which I, got I messed up in the way that I made the videos, because I should have, what I should have did was at the end of the videos, or at the beginning of the videos, I should have said, disclaimer, I'm, you know, this this is the video I'm trying to do, I'm, I'm and don't let this video judge the entire race, the entire culture off the acts of a very few individuals. You kind of specifically say the opposite of that. As you can see, black people got really emotional. You can see from this video, the black community is very violent towards Trump and his supporters. You don't say Black Lives Matter activists, you say black people in general are very hostile see, towards Trump supporters. See, like, I, that's more of just a mistake on my end. That's not something that I purposely went out like when I, I I meant it, the videos even says Black Lives Matter versus All Lives Matter supporters. I meant it to be specific to the people who support Black Lives Matter. Well, but the the outcome of your videos is clearly you've provided a safe haven and a community for all these racists to come together and be like, I knew it. How does that, how does you, how does that make you feel seeing all the comments and saying all this terrible shit? Like, I knew, I knew this about black people. Like some of the racist was vile shit, right? Like, well, like how does it's that like, make you feel? What do you think about that? That's the effect that your video is having on the world. See, I, I never really truly looked at my videos of actually having an effect on the on the world because when I'm looking at it on a computer. So why do you make them? First off, I because kind of like my job in a way. I just see them as just videos going up with numbers coming in. It it's not something I really look at on. The, so what the you're whole, like, the, what you're saying is it's more about making money than about trying to get across some kind of political belief. Or, I wouldn't say it's, it's more about making money. That that just comes with it. I see the top comment people saying how they oh this is why I hate black people. Yeah. Like after reading that stuff, I realized, damn, I should have said it differently, and I didn't. Right. So I I hear you, but it seems like coming off the Black Lives Matter one, and kind of like, we, we addressed that video and all the racist kickback that came from it. It seemed almost like you weren't, you were not only shying away from being like, oh man, I see that was fucked up. Um, it seemed almost like you were doubling down on it because it, it, would you say that you saw the reaction of that video and you're like, wow, that got me a lot of views. So I'm gonna take this even further to cause even more controversy and get even more views. Because that seemed to be the natural evolution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I definitely went off the same type of controversy, but I never intended it for it to generalize the entire black race. But the way I said it and which I messed up and I totally regret, I did mess up. How could I, it, I, I, just, it I don't understand how could it have been seen any other way? Because the way I would, the way if, if I worded it differently. There's some truth to that because you can Google Black Lives Matter attack Trump supporters, and there is a lot of truth to that. There's, 
plenty of real clips and videos. So why, why do you where, feel the need to fake an experiment if there's so much truth to it? Seems like you could have just yeah, actually got I, the effect of it. Like, yeah, like I, I looking back, I was like, I could have just did a different version of this and and make it real. Laziness on my part, trying to rush everything out and and just trying to make something shocking and create controversy, and that's what it did, but and not the way that I intended it. Now, they, so you, know, you said what's going on. you made a, once once it came out that this video was fake, it, you quickly went to your vlog channel to say like, hey guys, I just want to let you know. I know this video is coming out that, that it's gonna come out fake, so I just wanna give you my perspective on it. I wanted to set this scene up, and the purpose of the original video was to get people's reactions to that scene. Will they join in? Will they call the cops? Will they try to stop them? But as I was editing the video, I was like, I could easily make this go a total different direction. And I basically re-edited it to make it look like something else happened that didn't. And I apologize for that, and I would definitely will never do something like that again. I thought I could have got away with it, but I didn't. The the point of that video was going to be entirely different than what the end result was. You claimed that you were having them smash the car to record everyone else's reaction to it. Is that do you still stand by that statement that you made? Um, what I said was that was actually the original intention of the video prior to filming. Um, and then when I decided I could have made a more shocking video, you I said went in the editing, direction. in the editing, yeah, I wasn't in editing. I, I just said that just to like get a little more heat off me, but it wasn't in editing. It was, uh, it was when I was there. <laughs> I'm trying to be open and honest. No, I appreciate your open and I mean, look, dude, I appreciate you being okay. open and honest. It's better. It's better. So basically yeah, so you made that vlog response in a panic. You're like, but but truthfully, the video was what it was, and that was your original intention. Yeah. Okay, fair enough, dude. Cl close that case. Okay, close the case on that question. You just tweeted out every other week. The YouTube community finds a new victim who they can totally exploit, and it's me again. Can you explain what did you mean by that? Um, I mean, you clearly know it. So whenever someone on YouTube does something wrong or bad, mm -hmm. everybody comes on and rapes the person about it. Yeah. it happened to Keemstar a couple of times. Right. Then it happened to Leafy a right. little bit. Right. Um, right. But, the, but the CS lottery. People. So you're saying, uh, just, but you 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 referred to yourself as a victim. And to be fair, to be fair, Joey, let's be frank right now. This is probably the most fucked up thing that I've ever seen on YouTube, and probably the most fucked up thing you've done. And even worse than like Keemstar saying like the N word, you're actually creating like hate and like spite and real racism in in the world. So I think that in, in this case it's warranted. I, I... Uh, yeah, no, I, I was about to say anything that happens to me with these videos with, with people threatening me, it's all somewhat justified because I kind of did it to myself. Kind of. I pretty much did it. And in what way didn't you do it to yourself? <laughs> Anything that happens, I mean, I'll be surprised if I don't get stabbed to death and killed. Uh, be totally honest with Joey, you. Yo, dude, is it worth like, it? Is it worth the fucking ad revenue? Can you make a social experiment that doesn't offend a large minority of people that, in as a result, want to kill you? That's my next question, Joey. That's the stuff that gets controversy and gets people talking and gets. I I feel like that's just you being uncreative. There's got to be a way to make a so interesting social experiment that's not fake and doesn't result in people wanting to kill you. Like that's the easy way to get views. I've done stuff like that before. Like, like not everything that I've done is controversial, but the ones that I do that are controversial stand out the most because they're controversial. But at the same time, you see the impact you're having on the world, which is quite clearly a negative impact. You are having a negative impact on the world, Joey. You are having a negative impact on this world, Joey. How does that make you feel that you're selling fucking hate? You're you're basically selling hate. Is that cool? Makes like shit. But you keep doing it's, it. It's, I mean, how many times have I done it? <laughs> a lot, dude. Every month, it's Didn't like Joey sa a new salad meme. Couple of times, but those are the ones that you stand well, out. Well, I'll, most, I'll put like it I this said. way: you you did it three times in just like the past two weeks. That's, 
yeah, I'm looking through my videos right now, and it's just those, really. You tweeted four days ago on October 15th. The, the media's clear bias and agenda to re-elect Hillary is more than enough of reason to vote for Trump. That says it all. You seem like the kind of guy who's very skeptical of what you see in the media, right? Oh, yeah. So, do you find it a little bit hypocritical that you basically essentially faked media to support a specific presidential candidate? How does that, how does that make you not worse than, than those that you despise? I wouldn't say that any of my videos would have supported a candidate in any way. Really? Um, I don't know how, like, example, uh, tell me how you think the Trump car getting destroyed video would... Because you're making, Trump. you're elevating Trump supporters as victims, that they're, they're, they're simply uh, out there trying to support their candidate and they're being victimized and, and uh, that, abused. That's false statement? Do you think that's false? Well... Whether it's true or not, Joey, doesn't matter. You created a fake spin. Exactly what you accused the media and condoned the media for doing. Is it true or not? That's not for me to decide right now, but what I know is true is that you did the same thing yourself while at the same time condoning the media for doing it to Hillary. So how is that not just uh, painfully hypocritical of you? <clears throat> um, because my entire agenda is... Yeah, I'm trying to figure out the best way to put this. You're clearly a Trump supporter. I mean, you can't deny that. Your whole, I mean, let's oh, that, that, be up front. That's, that's yeah. but, but the point being, you're clearly a Trump supporter. And whether you explicitly says vote for Trump in the Trump car, it's clearly portraying Trump supporters as victims in a positive light and black people or Democrats or people who oppose as more violent. I mean, the implication is clearly there and you can't possibly deny that. So again, I wanna to return to the question of how do you justify manipulating media when you yourself are so, so, so uh, opposed to it, you feel so oppressed by it. I mean, how do you justify that? The, the, only, the only justification that I would be able to give, which is I don't want to give out, but I don't want to give out excuses because it was wrong, obviously. Um, the only justification that I could bring out is that there are real life situations where stuff like this does happen and that you can look up. You can look up videos of Trump supporters being attacked by crowds of black How do you know it's real? Just fearing for a, How do you know it's like, real? That was it. How do you know it's real? That's another. There's this guy who he, um, his, his last name's O'Keefe. I know that for a fact. And um, what he did was uh, he had a group of people go undercover. It does, anyway, I, other, we're getting off point. Yeah, no, but. It, goes, it goes back around because um, he exposed Hillary Clinton's campaign. Um, I am yeah, I'm familiar with like that. that I, I did see that. It was crazy. Yeah. But, 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 I mean, but so what you're saying is essentially to fight the monster, you have to become the monster. I didn't say that. But. That seems to be what you're saying. You're justifying faking it because Hillary's faked it. So you become the monster and fighting the monster. Almost. But the only thing I did, I pretty much took real life, something that happened similar in real life, and it's almost like almost like a, a super exaggerated reenactment. Are you but, are you essentially acknowledging to your your all your uh, social experiments being fake right now? No. Because it seemed like it seems like when you can control the outcome that specifically, it almost needs to be in a controlled environment. You what? do it until you get the outcome. You do it until you, you get the outcome. You do it So well, the fact the the your newest prank came out as fake, and and also it seems to be that a, the, a common thread throughout here is, is general laziness and a kind of bit of a hastiness to get things out and not fact checking. I don't necessarily think you're the kind of guy who would spend a week out on a neighborhood street waiting for that perfect abduction moment. The first, your newest f prank has been proven to be fake. Are all of your pranks fake? No. How many of them are fake? I would say the old pranks. A lot the, of those older pranks. Only the old pranks. When I, so the only, the, I, only this new one, the new one right now that just got proven fake, that's the only one of the new ones that are fake. No, that wouldn't be the only one. But Which other ones are fake? I say, I'm not gonna tell you. But let's say there's no video. <laughs> what about the Black point. Lives Matter one? Was that fake? No. It wasn't. No. Are you sure? What if I told you I'm I had? Sure. What if I told you that I had footage of someone that recorded you taping it? Let me see the footage. 
<laughs> Joey, that bitch is fake. Would you tell me if it was faked? I don't know if I would. That's an honest question. That's an honest answer too. <laughs> and the baited and the baited trunk was that fake? The what trunk? The one, the trunk where you left the, the car. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, that one was fake. Because that one wasn't very racist, so you're willing to admit that one wasn't fake. But the All Lives Matter one, that one was real. Yeah. Okay. Cool. This is a setup. It's not a setup, dude. If you can't defend your fucking own social experiments, right. you're right. saying it's a I'm setup. Are you admitting that it's right. fake? All right, all right. If you're getting defensive right now, that kind of implies to me that you think well, this, this is fake. Right. What? Want, want me to be honest? Yeah. All right, but I want people to take my honesty as a way, as a way of coming through and starting new. Joey, new let me let me new. be frank with you. Let's Everybody right. knows that shit's fake. The only people who don't know it's fake are people who are not even going to watch this video to begin with. You have nothing to lose by coming clean. Word will spread. All right. Everybody, but all everybody already knows every social experiment's fake. Uh, even no, Fussy no, Tube no. was like, "My shit's fake." To say everything is fake, that's false. I'll admit to you, the Black Lives Matter one was fake. There you go. There's no, there's Fucking no suck lie. my dick, you fuckers. All this shit I got from those <laughs> racist fucks. You heard it here. What? Fuck this shit. The reason... <laughs> Where'd you go? All right, I'm back. But the reason why I think you got hate on that was because uh, you, you brought up stuff. Yeah, I think you Ethan, out. you know <laughs> this one's real. You remember that comment? You know this one's real. 500 what? points. Yeah. It just feels good just to hear it. I don't think you're an evil guy, but the net outcome of your last three videos was evil. I'm not, I'm not arguing against that. I started going in a dangerous direction with the videos, and boy am I paying the price. What do you think is more likely? A child to be abducted by a stranger or by a YouTube prankster? Uh, probably a YouTube prankster at this rate. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the black actors who, who smashed the Trump card, because a lot of people are saying about them you know, shame on those guys for participating in such an act that would make their community look bad. And my question to you is, what did you tell them was happening in the video? Did you explain to them that it, they were gonna be depicted in that way? Or were they under the impression that, it, that they didn't quite even understand what the actual end goal of the video was? They thought it was funny and they were all down to do it. Yeah, but did they understand the purpose? Yeah. Yeah, they were there for the filming. They 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 knew that the video was like black people are violent and hate Trump. They knew that. Yeah. Yep. Interesting. Now what is that? That that's an experiment in its own. Maybe the only experiment that actually came out of this whole fuck out of your entire channel. And I, I'm glad we're is, I am how, so how much did you pay them? I didn't even pay them. No, you didn't even pay them? I was, how did you get them in no. there? I, I knew one of the guys, and then he just he just told his friends. He's like, yo, I want to help out. Because the original video that I was setting out to do was the one where I was going to get people's reactions to, to that right. happening. That on the scene, then I changed it. And they knew but, that. They knew you changed yeah, they, it. They knew that. No, they knew that. Did they know that it was going to be presented as real? Yeah. That's that that is they, surprising. They, they, they've seen my videos. Like they, they know, they know who, who you are. So. And you didn't even fucking pay them. Wow. God damn, that's that's kind of the most surprising thing to come out of this shit. So, <laughs> Joey, in closing, first of all, thank you for coming on and kind of explaining yourself a little bit. Appreciate you subjecting yourself to my abuse. Um, do you have anything you want to say just in closing for basically what's happened here? Um, I want to say that I apologize for the acts of those videos. 
and that I will be taking a more positive direction, a more real direction in my videos. I'm going to be uh, slowly moving away from doing social experiments and moving more into doing more hidden camera documentary style videos, stuff that can't be faked because I know I don't have everybody's trust anymore with these type with these videos that I make. All right, Joey. Um, Thank you, dude. I appreciate it. And uh, looking forward to seeing a, bre uh, a, a, a different toss of salad from you in the future. Which I try to change my Joey salad into something else? No, definitely keep the salads, but I want to see more, more of a kind of lighter dressing. Something maybe like a little olive oil and lemon juice and just salt, you know? Pure, natural, healthy, no ranch, okay? So lean, a lean, nice, healthy yeah. salad. That's what I want from you. All right? Thank you. All right. Doing it for you. All right. Thank Everybody you, Joey. Else. Thank you, Joey. Appreciate you.